Hello my strong strong friends. In today's video I'm gonna go over a full workout for you. This one will be taken from Stronger by the Day, that's my program, but it's going to be a little bit different than some of the other videos we've done like this because we're going to take every single piece of this workout and every exercise and we're going to then modify it for those of you who are still at home and training with no equipment. It will be helpful if you have one resistance band for this workout for those of you training at home. Um, but other than that, you just need yourself and we might get a little creative with some of the things you might have around your house. Um, so yeah, I won't talk anymore. Let's get straight into the workout. Boom, boom, boom. Our current Stronger by the Day program is incorporating more full body workouts. So today we're going to be overhead pressing and deadlifting as well. And we'll have some other accessories that support those lifts. So our first movement is an overhead press. The volume is moderate. We're gonna start with three sets of six and then you have an AMRAP set at the end. Okay, for my people who are at home, don't worry. This substitution is great and it's gonna be just as freaking hard as that. You'll watch me demo it and see for yourself. Mind you, I'm doing both, okay? So give me a break. All right, what we're gonna do is find some sort of elevated surface and we're gonna do a modified handstand push-up. When you're thinking about substituting exercises, whether that be for you don't have the equipment, you're stuck at home in quarantine or isolation right now, um, and your gym's closed, or if you just don't have time to get to the gym, if you have an injury, and so on, you wanna think about a few things to try your best to mimic the exercise. I realize you won't be able to do exactly what you or your coach originally intended for you to do, but you can try to get close. Some of the main things that you wanna think about are what are the primary muscle groups that I'm using in that exercise and how can I do a different exercise or a similar exercise so that I can still activate those muscle groups and also what plane of motion am I moving through. So with overhead press, as we're pressing up, we want to try and mimic that plan of motion, plan of movement that we're using. And so for the handstand push-up, we're doing like the opposite of the press and we're pushing, still pressing our bodies away from the ground instead. So if you've ever done CrossFit, you've seen people do handstand push-ups, uh, we're gonna modify it so it's for the average person and I feel like it's a little bit better of a movement, just get in a better position. So find an elevated surface, this can be like if you have stable stairs or like a bench at your house, like an ottoman that you can safely use, you're gonna put either your feet, uh, hands on the ground, and then feet on the bench to get in like a pipe position, or you can put shins on the box um, to mimic that upside down position as well. So the pipe is gonna be a little harder. Just make sure that you're comfortable. Head grazes the ground and comes back up. Okay, and same rep scheme for those. They're just as hard as the overhead press. And you wanna do your three sets of six and then do an AMRAP for this and push as many reps as you can. That's a good question. Ryan just asked why wouldn't I choose something like a lateral delt raise to substitute the overhead press because it's working the shoulders. Yeah, you wanna think about the primary muscle groups, but also you want to think about, okay, is this movement in a more specific sense, is it a compound movement? Is it an isolated movement? Is it a unilateral movement? And try to pare down those things and make your selection based on that criteria that your coach or you, the ideal version of you, was thinking that you would do for that workout. So, um, the handstand push-up, compound movement, so is my overhead press. Boom! I'm wrapped, come on. Tight. One. Two, come on, Megan. Three. Let's go. Come on. Six, push. Seven, come on, Megan. Fight for it. Drive it up. 
Squeeze head through. Push. Come on, another. Oh God, no. Whoa, oh, oh. You still have your AMRAP handstand push-ups to do, right? <laughs> okay, I do want to add there. You see me struggling with that? I'm gonna struggle with the handstand push-ups too. It's just a different kind of strength. Being like super strong body weight is a whole different animal. Um, so I know it's discouraging right now because you're not under a barbell, but don't worry, you'll be back. You will be back. Moving on from our overhead press, we have another compound movement. We're doing deficit deadlifts. The deadlift is usually the one lift where everyone gets to shine and throw a ton of weight on the bar. It's usually the highest intensity that a lot of lifters will experience. Uh, so we need to get a little creative and try to elicit that response in our homes. So what we're gonna do is try to find multiple exercises in this Example that will work our posterior chain like the deficit deadlift so work our hamstrings and our low back So instead of taking just one movement and subbing one movement here We're gonna do two the first one will be slider hamstring curls Those are difficult for any lifter that I see try myself included You'll notice that I'm gonna be bad at a lot of these body weight exercises. So slider hamstring curls are super hard. You don't need sliders. Uh, I'll show you a substitute that I'm using here. And then we're going to also pair the slider hamstring curls with a low back exercise and doing some body weight supermans on the floor to try and get our entire posterior chain working or at least some of it. If you guys don't have sliders at home, don't worry. You can pick up a magazine or two. I have one single magazine that I'm gonna attempt to do this exercise with. Um, so just make sure you have a floor to where that magazine can slide on it. it could be a carpet, hardwood, whatever. Um, these are super hard. Uh, just dig your triceps into the ground. Push in with your heels to lift your glutes up and squeeze and then extend the legs out and bring them back in. I feel like the deadlifts were easier. If those are too hard for you, don't worry. You can use just one leg at a time. For my home gym people, after you finish the slider hamstring curls, go straight into your supermans. One important thing when you're working out at home is try to increase the intensity of your workout by decreasing the amount of rest that you're doing. I know I like to rest a lot in between sets, but if you're missing your resistance, don't rest. Try to keep it moving and keep your exercise as intense as possible. Our next exercise is one that is programmed for both my full gym people and my people training at home. Like I said, a resistance band, this is probably the number one best piece of equipment that you can comfortably keep in your house. So have some of these on hand. Um, this just requires a resistance band attached to a banister, a door frame, whatever you have available. And we will be pairing this in a superset with a deficit deadlifts. If you are training at home, then this will be uh, a set of three. So you'll do three different exercises. So super simple one. We love programming this in for some shoulder health and some scapula strength. 
So it's a banded face pool. We're just gonna pull out. Keep those elbows back. Keep them back. Good. I lost count. Uh, I think you did like a thousand. <laughs> it was only supposed to be eight. Okay. This next exercise is a rear delt fly. And so we're gonna substitute for our home gym people, we're gonna substitute it for something that we can do for high reps because the rep scheme here is 18 reps, which is a ton. So if you were doing that in the gym, you'd probably grab some light dumbbells. So one good substitute for this one to hit your rear delts and do for a lot of reps is a band pull apart. Um, these are very, very similar movements that you can do either in the gym or at home. Supersetting our rear delt flies with a lat pull down with a neutral grip. So a very specific exercise would be a chin up. You might think about doing a chin up to sub this exercise, but actually the rep range is in the 12s. So unless you can do 12 chin ups, then you might want to think about a different lift. So we're going to substitute our lat pull downs instead with an inverted row, something that most people can do for 12 reps comfortably so that we're getting closer to what the workout intended. Hi you guys, as we were editing, we realized that I completely forgot to film one of the exercises. So I talk a little bit about it already, but we're programming from our full gym workout, a neutral grip lat pull down and a great exercise to sub for that if you're home is an inverted row. And you can actually do an inverted row on a sturdy table. Just make sure that it's heavy enough to support your weight. I'm doing this with the um, one that we have in the office. And you can see these animated GIFs that I made here. Um, we have animated GIFs for every single exercise that's in Stronger by the Day, um, which is great so that you always know what exercise to do and like what it actually looks like. Um, you can pull it up on your phone whenever you're in the gym. Um, just wanted to put that tidbit there. Okay, back to normal Meg in the gym. This is what I look like normally working. <laughs> it's not the closest movement because it's a horizontal pull rather than a vertical pull like our lat pull down. But when we're getting deeper into the workout and into the more accessory movements, it's important that we try to get and mimic the overall workload rather than getting each exercise exactly to its like perfect counterpart. We're gonna finish the workout with a giant set. That's three exercises that are going back to back regardless of if you're at home or if you're training in the gym. The first one you can do in both. It's a single leg glute bridge. So this is a body weight movement. Like I said, we program body weight movements all the time. Maybe it's not the entire exercise or the entire workout rather isn't body weight, but we do program them. They are important regardless of where you're training and what equipment you have available. So keep that in mind if you're stuck at home. So there's no change to the single leg glute bridge, but we do have also programmed lateral box step ups. You can use resistance if you have dumbbells. If you have no resistance, then do an eccentric step down. These are even harder than the box step ups in my opinion. Super Super hard to keep your knees stable and focus on that balance. Um, there, we're looking for a unilateral movement and subbing it for another unilateral movement. So that one makes a lot of sense. 
And for our last exercise, we have a straight arm dumbbell lateral raise. If you don't have dumbbells, then go ahead and grab our band that we used earlier in the workout and secure it to something low instead of high for this one. And if you don't have a surface, you can also just stand on the bottom of your resistance band and hold it securely there. And then just complete a kind of cable lateral raise so that you get a movement that is very similar to your dumbbell lateral raise. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Uh, please do give me a comment and a like, especially if you enjoyed it. If you wanna see me do other workouts um, and do a format like this where I give you instructions on how to sub it in case you're home, then let me know. Uh, like this video so that I know and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye today. Oh, and if you need a program, whether that be for body weight or for full gym, for my garage gym people especially, it's great for garage gym people, uh, then subscribe to Stronger By The Day. We have the body weight program and we have a full gym program, so. That either, sounds expensive. It, oh, it's only $8 a month. Wow. It's cheaper than. Dinner? Dinner? <laughs> it's cheaper than breakfast. Which is cheaper than dinner. All right, bye.